Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the high grade Barba Gundam Barbados Lupus. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of people are now looking forward about this review because this was released yesterday in Korea. Now first of all this is the seventh form or the new Gundam Barbados for Gundam Iron Blood Orphans Season 2. Now, uh, first of all, let's get on with the components. First, what you get is, of course, the Gundam Barbados Lupus. Uh, number two, you get a, a, a pretty large sticker sheet. I used most of them except for this, these two because I messed up the, the left sticker, so I had to use a Gundam Black Marker. Uh, you get one gigantic sword. I'll get into explaining about this. And you get some extra pieces, which... Uh, one, one of them contains another set of hands but has an angle, uh, you know, joint. The ones I'm currently using here are, are the normal straight joints that you usually see in high grades. Uh, what else you get is this uh, peg for a action base. And then you get these two pieces which I do not understand but I will get into those later. And you and some extra spare pieces, and you get some extra poly caps left, but I thought they would be unnecessary. All right, so let's get on to the review. And I almost forgot to tell you something: is that the instruction manual is something has something interesting as well. I forgot to take out the instruction manual. Sorry about that. Uh, the instruction manual, for example. They now have English translations on the bottom. Like I'm not sure if you can see them. Um, uh, sorry for the camera not focusing, but now they have these English translations on the manual on the bottom about the explanation, you know, descriptions and explaining and stuff. Now, uh, one thing that the instruction manual mentions is that they they upgrade the nervous system that you know that connects the pilot and the mobile suit together. The Lupus design has become more curvy instead of like clunky and blocky, so it can have more speed. Uh, they increase the reaction time of the kit, I mean of the mobile suit, so whatever. So basically they upgraded the Barbados into something more better. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's start with the articulations. Now, uh, one thing to mention is that this is my first uh, Iron Blood Orphans kit that I'm, I'm actually building, that I built. And this is my first and will be only my my only Barbados, so any other Barbados that shows up, yeah, I'm not gonna go for it. Okay, uh, let's get into articulations. The head. Uh, first of all, I will mention what parts is a sticker. First for the head, on the head, the only sticker are the eyes. Now, someone was asking me if these gray parts below the eyes are stickers, but they are not stickers. Uh, one more sticker to mention is on the neck, this black sticker, but it wouldn't be much of a big difference if you didn't use it, just saying. Uh, okay, let's see. The head has pretty good basic articulations. Goes down that much, and then goes up that much. Uh, 360, I'm not sure if it's possible. Yeah, it's not possible because there are these fin looking things on the neck so you won't be going 360 but considering a mobile suit I don't know why that you need 360 I mean you I don't know because it usually in mo most Gundams have a back backhead camera but I don't think it I don't think this one has one but oh well okay uh, let's, I think I'll start with the arms first uh, the arms there's no stickers on the arms uh, this is basically a uh, there you put a white piece inside the uh, red piece so it, it looks like you know it has a Tekkanen symbol uh, the shoulders can move upward which is pretty fine and which I'm pretty impressed and yeah the arms can go whoops my bad about that much the arms are connected to a ball joint to the f to the body and there one thing to mention is that this part here might hinder some movement sometimes but it's not that bad uh, 360 is no problem at all. The arms, uh, let's see. Yeah, they can bend that much. Uh, not 90 degrees, more than uh, maybe about 100 degrees, but yeah, uh, it's pretty satisfying. No problems at all. And I, I do like the way how they connected the hands because the cover, the fist cover, kind of seems like it's connected, which is a pretty interesting design. 
and also uh, on the instruction manual they mentioned the Barbados Lupus uh, design has become more uh, curvy and roundish instead of clunky uh, for more speed and aerodynamic stuff okay uh, the body let's see once again um, I'm pretty impressed by this kit because it actually has an inner frame uh, which is kind of molded in so not bad actually the body I think I don't know it, it's not going 360 uh, because I think it's because of the backpack it's kind of blocking the way and also there's another piece that's kind of hindering on here so in 360 not possible at all I don't know maybe if you pull out a little bit maybe possible but yeah or you can take a yeah, let me take off the backpack. Oh yeah, okay. Without the backpack, it is possible to go 360, and you can see some inner frame in there. So let me put on the backpack. And since I didn't mention the backpack, I'm going to mention that these black parts are the, supposed to be the stickers I was supposed to use, but I messed up, so I, I colored them in black. Okay, uh, also the hands are also connected to a ball joint. I forgot to mention that. Okay, the waist. Now, um, the only issue I'm having on the waist is the side skirt armor, especially uh, this side, which is, I guess, I should say left. Uh, if I look at it this way, but this side of uh, side skirt armor kind of keeps popping out. The way how it's connected is connected to a uh, you put a poly cap ball joint into here, and then you connect the ball joint onto the waist. But instead of the ball gap falling, not the ball joint, but the the, this piece itself keeps falling off. Uh, another thing to mention, since I got this off, this section here is a sticker and this section here is a sticker as well. Sorry if my camera's not focusing, focusing but yeah, uh, a little bit sticker on, this, uh, on the sides, which is, isn't too terrible. Uh, the front skirt, it, it, it to some people, this may feel really stiff. For me, I saw it wasn't moving, but after some, uh, you know, uh, touching it around, it, it sort of moves now. Uh, but it, it's really stiff. I don't know why, but I'm not sure if this is a good thing, but yeah, this part is extremely stiff somehow. It could be just mine, but yeah. Also, those yellow pieces are actually separate pieces, so no, not stickers. So, uh, for articulation, I'm going to flip this up a little bit. Um, as you see, they're just connected to a joint, so you normal you know peg, so you can move it around front and back. Uh, the side skirts sometimes may get in, in the way in terms of posing, so just letting you guys know. Uh, the feet or legs, due to the design and you know limitation of, of the front skirt, this is as much as you go, so less than 90 degrees. Uh, bending is du it's double jointed, so more than 90 degrees. And oops, a piece is trying to fall fall off. Okay. Uh, the knee section here, this is a sticker as well. Uh, also on the f on the leg, this black section here is a sticker as well. So one, so each side as well here, here, and here. Now, one thing I would like to talk about is the feet. Now, this is a pretty... It, it took me a while to figure out what I was building, but it was the feet. Uh, the feet are in a high heel in a situation, but... Uh, in a high heel style, but this is extremely... I don't know, high, I guess. Um, I, it, it doesn't have that much problem, but sometimes the feet won't be in the right position. So, sometimes it'll be like that, a little bit up. But it's not too terrible. Uh, the feet itself entirely is connected to a ball joint to the leg, and let's see. Uh, it can move. It has some basic articulations, and let's see. You can change the position of the front feet if you want, like that. It can bend. Uh, the back heel, no, it's not moving at all. And I think you you can you can technically twist twist this part because this is a round piece you know just you slide it in so I'm technically you couldn't slide but it's really stiff connection so a strong connection so I'm, I highly doubt it's not going to be that easy so yeah uh, we saw the basic articulations now let's get on to the accessories which only comes with one a lot of people were asking me if I got the option set option parts number five was it I, uh, one thing I should mention is that I'm not a big fan of buying option parts unless I'm really serious of you know making something or customizing something once again, I'm a straight builder, so yeah, it's not much of an option for me. Uh, the weapon. 
is this gigantic sword, which I think they mention this as a new weapon. It's called a sword mace. Uh, basically, despite being a sword, it's not really for slashing or cutting. It's basically uh, whacking your opponent more efficiently. So consider it as like a big ass whacking stick sword. Uh, the sword is pretty plain, you just snap two pieces together. Uh, one thing what you can do is, first of all, you need to take off the hand. I, I recommend this. Or you can take, if you can take off this white piece off the hand, uh, while connected, it's fine. Uh, these connections are really strong, so just be careful. All you need to do is just your typical, you know, connection. Close it in and you have it. The thing is, but, uh, the weapon itself doesn't have a, you know, um, peg or hole onto it so it will slide time to time if it uh, mines it a little bit in the middle which I mean it's it sometimes has a stiff connection sometimes it's slippery but for now I think I'm not having that much of a problem at the moment so yeah uh, a pretty basic sword it's just bothering me that it can spin around but then again it's a whacking stick so a whacking mace sword so I'm not too surprised you can do all sorts of poses, and if pos if you want to, you can actually make it hold it with two hands. It's possible. Let me try that out. I'm just gonna do it this this way this time. But I'm not sure how what kind of poses that you are technically are supposed are you know possibly can do because this is the best I can do. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, you can hold it in both hands, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure if it can move beyond this point. This is I'm trying to move the arms, but it's not really moving. <laughs> so yeah, uh, okay, so that's it for the weapon. Now let's get on to the last feature on the backpack, which uh, this, okay, maybe it's because I, I didn't, I don't have any of the other Barbados, but, uh, but if, if it is, if it's that's the case, please leave a comment below where like uh, there's a reason for this part I'm going to show you guys on the video. Okay, on the backpack, um, you see these uh, clips. Now you can attach the sword here any way you want, and you can a little bit make it twist a little bit. So that's fine. That's fine by me. But uh, as you mentioned in the first uh, scene, you saw these pieces. Now, according to the instruction manual, they tell you to take this off, which comes out pretty easily than you think. And then, uh, let's see, no, uh, there we go. You connect this piece onto this peg over here. Come on. Also, there's not much, there's no pieces that are like falling off. There's no loose pieces beside those side skirts, so no need to worry about anything else. And then there's a, oh my god. Sorry about that. Um, now there's a piece, uh, a ball joint over here, and what you, what the instruction manual tells you to do is connect that ball joint into that hole over there. And there you go. But the thing is, this is basically it. There's nothing more instructions. They say this you can just connect it. So I'm assuming this is like for a option part number f option parts or like one of those part weapons that they sell separately. Um, if that's the case, I'm fine, but yeah, I wish the instruction manual sort of mentioned something else, but it was kind of getting me confused. I saw you can put these into those backpacks, but I tried, but does not work. Also, I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, like a mobile suit was having a lot of weapons to deal with. But yeah, um, the sword is pretty long. As you can see, it's even higher or taller than the kit itself, and it barely touches the, it, it almost touches the ground, yeah, the final tip is touching the ground if you put it all, all the way, you know, up to the handle. And sometimes it could be a problem, you know, standing up, but yeah, remember, and this is on the angle, if you put it straight, it might actually touch and hinder the process of standing up. All right, so yeah, that's it basically for all the stickers and explanations. Uh, oh yeah, one more sticker I forgot to mention is that uh, this red section here on the feet are stickers. So if you can color them, uh, go for it. I tried color them, but I messed up the process, so I had to use the sticker. All right, uh, so that was the review for the high-grade Barbados Gundam Barbados Lupus. 
uh, those uh, I'm really impressed by this kit. I wasn't a really big fan of the Barbados because of the design, but I am really loving this this uh, version because uh, most parts are all covered up okay, except for the you know the hip joint over there. Um, but it looks more completed. The other Barbados for me kind of felt like it was incomplete, but this one looks really complete design. The only downside is that uh, they only give you uh, the standard hands. I wish they gave you an open hand with those claws like on the box, but too bad. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching my re review for the High Grade Gundam Barbados Lupus. I recommend this to any IBO fans out there or anybody who's looking for something different. Anyway, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this review. If you liked it, please give a like and also subscribe to my channel. I still have more uh, videos to make and, you know, buy more, build more kits, so please stay tuned. Well, until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>